So it's the day after Adam's cheat day. Let's go see how he's doing. Are you okay? No. No. <laughs> Come on, sleepy head. Be a down. <laughs> And some, uh... This is Bear Meat's food. And that... was actually the 37,000 calorie cheat day. See you next time. Oh, my God. <coughs> All right. Let's see what the damage is. Oh, what the f <sighs> Genuinely don't know if I need the toilet, a cuddle, or an ambulance. This needs to be fixed up. I think that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get today. Oh, so that was it, the 35,000 calorie cheat day. Actually turned out to be 36,500. Only 19 pounds of weight gain. <clears throat> Which I think is probably some kind of world record. Has to be. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie, I feel pretty terrible right now. My legs hurt. My back hurts. I feel short of breath. And more than anything, my hips hurt. Probably because I got so much stuff inside me. I normally like to get to the gym the day after doing, you know, some kind of eating stuff, but today that's, that's not gonna happen. It's already the afternoon, I think. I don't know what time, but just gonna chalk today off for recovery. Get plenty of liquids, get some coffee inside me. Slowly but surely, getting back to normal. Managed to hit the gym this morning. Uh, Still don't really have much of an appetite, which is a little bit worrying, but uh, I'm in Munich this weekend, so no rest for the wicked. Got to get back on the horse. It's capacity training day. Really don't want to eat. Cooking up a storm here. Some very exciting foods. Um, pretty exciting night ahead though, because uh, I think uh, Today, Randy Santel's posting his version of the head-to-head uh, -head that we did last year. Uh, it's going up on YouTube, I think, tonight from what I've heard. Uh, and I think I might be on TV. So we'll check that out if it happens. All right, Randy's put the video up. Can't wait to watch it. Surely he can't CGI himself out of this one. Hey, everybody. This is Randy Santel. Atlas with Atlas and Zeus Promotions and <laughs> foodchallenges.com. We are with Adam Moran, our friend, with Beard Meets Food. Be sure to check out his channel. <laughs> We're just, we're just ready to watch uh, the 2 million calorie buffet, which was, <laughs> it wasn't called that when I filmed it, but I filmed this thing for Channel 4 in uh, in Britain, where they basically just had me. <laughs> Britain? Why would you say Britain? Well, I have some American followers, darling. But um, yeah, I went to this buffet and they, they, I just tried to eat as much as I could. So we're getting ready to watch that now. It should be a lot of fun, I think. <laughs> Oh, this this guy's done four plates, babe. That's cute. I like how he's trying to make out like he's a professional. Do you think he eats more than you? <laughs> no. The restaurant guy said seven plates and the seven plates, and he's in trouble. I did a lot more than seven plates, but I've got no remorse. 
It says all you can eat. It says all you can eat. Oh, he, w he got full at seven plates. He's not even eating it all. That's six and a half plates. Look, that's full. That can't be classed as a plate. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. I do more than twice that. <laughs> Apparently, if you eat more than seven plates at an all-you-can-eat buffet, then they've... They don't make profit. Then they don't make profit, right. I think well last said, time we went, I ate more than seven plates, but it was of Yorkshire pudding sink. <laughs> and bread. <laughs> here I am, babe. Not all heroes wear capes. He's walking out for two plates at a time. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the man versus dog challenge, which is the final challenge. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a beast. <laughs> Apparently, if I eat this hot dog, I've eaten the same as a Yorkshire Terrier dog. So I, I probably didn't explain well enough. Um, the documentary we were watching last night was pretty much a documentary about the rise in popularity of all-you-can-eat buffets and it was kind of trying to figure out if the average person could like beat the buffet right so they got a, a couple of regular Joes down and this guy called George who, who made out he was kind of a pro eater then they got this uh, American football team down uh, and they ate like six plates or something each but they were saying that if you eat seven plates the the restaurant pretty much won't turn a profit on you so they showed me uh, taking on the man versus dog challenge which is uh, probably the one of the biggest eating challenges in, in England it's like a 4 foot long 12 pound hot dog and they showed me taking that on I guess just to show what I can do and then they invited me to this buffet here to see how many plates I could eat Adam's rocked up at the Chinese buffet and he's hungry <laughs> Take the all you can eat concept to a whole new level. I can get up to 20 plates quite easily. I really don't know where you put it. Dropping his fingers, noodles dropping down his face. <laughs> Little Minga. <laughs> what? He's literally shaking his body to help the food go down. It's like a digestive wiggle. This guy is a pro. Yep. Adam's polished off 21 plates of food and put away about 8,500 calories in one meal. I would say you're talking £40 very easily. Got my money's worth that. Very, very easily. So next time I'm free to charge you three times as much. <laughs> right, time to answer some YouTube comments. It's cold today, so I've got my Superman dressing gown on. I wonder if that's because I pretty much haven't eaten any fat for like three days now. Sometimes that's a side effect of a low fat diet. You feel cold a lot. Anyway, I've been pretty much in YouTube exile for the last three days. I was YouTubed out. That cheat day beat me down so bad I didn't even want to look at the comments. 44,000 views, that sucks. I don't actually need to watch the video. I don't want to relive the terror. 5,000 calories still in his beard. Yeah, not heard that one before. How did that get 98 likes? Mad, mad, mad. This is going to be so good. Thanks, dude. Or dude it. It's hard to tell sometimes with internet names whether you're a girl or a guy. Devin Apple. So I just spent 30 minutes watching a grown man eat. Yeah, you did, Devin. And you loved it. Why do you not shop in Aldi? You should film one of your shits after a day like this. Hannah McCandless, like this before I even watched. Thank you, Hannah. Charlie Faulkner, you must have spent so much. I think I spent like 160 British pounds. Man, that makes me feel regretful. I'm not even gonna... King Carb, I bet Eric will try and get the record back. He can try. Be trying for like 50,000 calories in one day. God, no. I don't even think that's humanly possible. Kill McRidge 100, Adam Straight Up Beast, this is my favourite YouTube channel. Oh, that means a lot to me, thanks dude. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this guy says, you swear word, 
lost to Randy and Mitch, you were still eating and you had scraps left all over the floor. That's what they call creative editing. Funny that Randy didn't show the scraps near his table and the rules are set by the restaurant owner. We cleaned the plate enough that he would have determined that a win for completing the eating challenge. We did that before Randy and Mitch. We beat them. Simple. Where did you get all the money from to buy all this food? Are you mega rich? Not mega rich, but I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. Oh my god! See, don't people read? I like how he mentioned Eric's 48k multi-day challenge, but kept quiet about his 50,000 calorie cheat day challenge. Uh, there are a couple of higher calorie challenges out there, uh, but those took place over a number of days. Number of days. Number of days. This person says, I thought liquid calories didn't count. There's pretty much a reason that I did a seven minute intro for the 35,000 calorie cheat day video. Watch the rules. Oh my lord. I can only look at YouTube comments for like five minutes these days before I get a headache. Comments like this make it all worthwhile. Came for the food, stayed for the beard. Emoji with shades on it. I love that people criticize because you use liquids. This isn't like the Olympics. It's just a bit of fun, right? It's not like a real event. So you should just read the description before you comment, please. That's that's the one thing I ask. Eric the Electric has done 50,000. Oh my god. Mate, I'm on a strict diet. And I came to your channel for some serious food porn. Not to watch you eat cereals and swear word pancakes. Did you miss the Domino's pizza? The donut burger? That's like the definition of food porn. Disclaimer, there were a lot of positive comments in here. Uh, just don't have time to read them all. But thank you if you left a positive comment. I know it takes time out of your day. Uh, but it really helps balance out all the idiocy out there. I've had enough of YouTube for today.